Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Should I start? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, well, my testimony, I know that testimonies are a way to edify God and the power he has on us. But first, I wanted to give some background about my previous life, about my old life. I grew up in a semi-Catholic church, and by tradition, I took the confirmation and my first communion. And then, well, I lost my father. He committed suicide when I was 10. And then at 13, I lost my uncle. He was like a father to me. And I lost him as well. And at that moment, at that time, I went with my grandmother to the church. Um, it wasn't so much tradition, but I wanted to be part with God. And then let's fast forward onwards. Um, I I keep praying when well, the time of need there are many people that, who don't don't believe in God, but maybe in dire situations they ask for the Lord to provide for something maybe they are in a bad situation or something. And in my case, I was asking for a job, and and I applied and, and I found Chris. I applied for the position that he in one of the shop sites. And there I am here interpreting for, for Georgia in the Royal Fellowship. And then Nikki provided me um, Jorge's number since he thought he could, he could teach me about the Word of God and the plan of salvation. And I actually told Nikki I, I wouldn't have um, any problem with receiving the Holy Spirit with Georgia, but like maybe maybe you know by now, but I'm not a fan of being the center of attention. But well, um, fast forward a little bit more, I, I received the Holy Spirit with Georgia through, through Zoom. And then he, he came to Argentina, I mean, it's pretty amazing at the time, at the time in everything perfect that he's living in Holland and then he's coming to Argentina, uh, several kilometers away from where he's supposed to go to go live and he came all the way so I could receive the Holy Spirit and be one with God. And we pretty much talk everything in English since Tiniki doesn't have his his wife doesn't know Spanish very well. So we pretty much talk um, everything in English. And something interesting happened before after receiving the Holy Spirit. Uh, well, there, it was with mud, some muddy water, and I got a bit dirty, but I spared to cleanse, and that's the important thing, right? <laughs> and and I found it interesting, like, one hour, one hour, two hours, maybe, after receiving the Holy Spirit, I we were coming back. I tried to find the best path, because I want to be, well, I, I want to show them the city and find a good um good path and good route so so we could come back and there were a lot of trees which Jorge loved of course and we were hungry so we went to a restaurant and we talked with this lady that he she had um some things he she believed in God but she was confused. She told that all our restaurants are the same. So we started talking and I found it interesting that while she was trying to receive the Holy Spirit and we prayed that she actually studied on the same place, not physically the same place, but the same brand uh, where I studied for cooking. I, she and Amaya, we are professional chef from uh, Gastronomic Institute of the Americas is the name in English. And she also talked about she was praying for her, I believe he was her nephew which had epilepsy and schizophrenia. And I'm also a healthcare provider. I actually, my therapeutic accompaniment, uh, the term in Spanish is accompaniment terapeutico. I, essentially, I, in my professional practice, there, there were some people who had, for instance, schizophrenia and her, her, her nephew actually had the same thing. And I found it pretty interesting that the, the first place that we, came the fun we found the restaurant and we talk about her receiving the Holy Spirit. Uh, it's so similar to me. I mean 
I studied both two things that she she, she was asking for the Lord. So I praise God. I'm very grateful for well for everything for my problem with his job for Chris to provide with his job for Nikki for putting me in contact with Georgia. Um for her and Tinica to come all the way to here, several kilometers and not maybe 100 kilometers away from where it's supposed to be. They came all the way to here and basically everyone for being so polite and I'm glad to be here. Amen. 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 <clears throat>